Hey there, everybody. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. We're going to talk about the difference between goals and a vision for success. I'm chuckling because this is the third time I've tried this this morning. Fingers crossed this one's going to work this time. You guys stay tuned. We're going to hit that topic right after this on 7 Minutes in the Morning. Hey, let's, oh, look, that looks so much better already. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thanks for uh, sticking in there with me. Ten minutes late getting started this morning. Third try is definitely going to be the charm today, he said with fingers crossed. <laughs> Good morning, Jeremy. Good to see you this morning. Glad that you are here. So all this week we've been talking about getting stuff done, GSD, and uh, I've had an opportunity to talk about that a lot just throughout the week. And so one of the questions that comes up a lot, has come up a lot, um, it is kind of the difference between goals and a vision. So I'm going to try and explain that, uh, at least explain my point of view on that this morning. Uh, and then maybe if, uh, if you guys are interested, we'll talk about um, a goal setting session tomorrow. All right. Before we get into that, though, if you are watching live or watching on the replay, do what Jeremy and Ramona and Vicki and Keith have done. Leave me a comment down there and just say hi. Let me know that you're watching uh, and that you can actually hear me because that was the problem uh, with all of my earlier attempts today. And uh, if you know somebody who struggles to get things done or they have things that they would like to achieve and they're having difficulty... Um, you can tell them that if they want different results, they have to do things differently. And one of the things they can do differently, come over here and listen to me at 7 o'clock Central Time every morning. All right, so let's get into it since we're running late already. Ramona says, yay, it's working. Yeah, yay. I don't know what it was. Just... The, the tech gremlins were in the laptop this morning, but I think I chased them off with a few choice words. All right, so the difference between vision and goals. And this, this is something that gets, um, I, I realized how much of a challenge this was when I was talking to a friend of mine this week. And one of the comments that he made was, um, yeah, I set goals all the time and I have a hard time reaching them. I said, well, give me some examples. And all the examples that he gave me were descriptions of what it would be like at some future state, right? Um, so, some, for example, a, a goal might be, a, a, a goal, a vision stated as a goal might be, oh, I, can, uh, I can travel whenever I want to, okay? So, in my way of thinking, in my distinction, that's a vision of a future state, right? That I have the means and the, the time freedom, location freedom, and the means to travel when and where I want to. That's actually one of mine. The goal, in order to do that, you have to break that vision down into goals, right? One goal would be um, to achieve location freedom within 12 months. Right? To be able to work from anywhere within 12 months. Or, you know, you, you got to iterate over this a few times to get it just right for you. But to be able to work anywhere, still deliver high quality value from anywhere. Right now, if you can do that, you've achieved your location freedom. That's one element of reaching that vision. So, so that's one example. Here's how you kind of put all this together. And this is what I encourage my friend to do. Stop thinking about goals. Begin by thinking about what your vision of success looks like. How do you define that success state that you want to achieve? Because remember, success and failure are states that we can move into and move out of. Right? So how do you know? What are the criteria that you're looking at that helps you understand this is the lifestyle, this is the, the criteria that I'm looking for to define living in that successful state. 
So um, here's the tip that I gave him, and I'm going to share with you this morning. Hopefully, this will help you also. Um, I envision a time when, right? Just a piece of paper, write that down at the top. I envision a time when, and then begin describing what that successful state looks like. When you've, when you've created the lifestyle that you are looking for, and that, that successful state that you want to live in, what does it look like? Right? So over in my composition book, I've got a line that says, I envision a time when dot, dot, dot. And then one of the bullets down below it, when Vicki and I have location and time freedom, the means to travel when and where we want. That's one of the pieces that define that successful state for me. Um, it's going to be different for everybody. But here's the reason. That this is why it's important. I said in the open that this is an important distinction because these describe a state. They're not they're not describing the steps you need to take to get there. That comes later. And, and don't, you know, don't overthink this. Just describe what you want it to look like. If it helps, another exercise that I um, have encouraged people to use is just write about what the perfect day looks like. And then in, in as much detail as possible. What time do you wake up? Is the sun already up? Are you feeling the sun on your face? Right? Is the light filling the room? Or is it completely dark and you're up before the sun and, you know, lured into the kitchen by the smell of coffee? As much detail as you can create around what that perfect day looks like, do that. Write that out. And I, you know, I'm a tactile learner. I like to write, but I think it's important in this case for everybody to write this out because it slows down your thinking. We can't write as fast as we can think. Some people can actually type as fast as they can think. So write this down longhand. Take a pen to paper and write this down. That slows your thinking down and causes you to focus and dwell, spend some time in that state. And what we want, and we want you to do that. We want you to spend time and dwell in that state because your mind then begins to experience that state. That's why I want you to think about smells and sights. Do you feel the warmth of the sun on your face? All of those things bring as many of your senses into the experience as possible. Then your mind begins to build this memory of this state and it will begin to draw you toward that. So, so spend some time imagining what that success state looks like, right? That's all the homework for today. I'll even save the further discussion of goals. I do want to make one point, but we'll save a further discussion of goals for tomorrow. Today, walking away from here today, before you come back tomorrow, ah, the teacher's giving homework. Take some time to sit down. Turn the phone off, turn the TV off, just sit down and write. What would my perfect day look like? Or if you want to use the other sentence right up at the top of the page, I envision a time when, dot, 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 and then fill in some sentences underneath it. doesn't have to be one sentence. And for Pete's sake, it doesn't have to be perfect English. This is not something that you have to have to share with anybody else and you get a chance to rewrite it if you want to. This is for you. Don't worry about getting the, the, the sentence structure, the English right or whatever. Just write it down. Get it out of your head and get it onto a piece of paper, right? And spend some time in it. Dwell in it. Enjoy it. Close your eyes and imagine what it would be like to wake up with the window cracked a little bit, you can hear the ocean rolling in, uh, whatever it is for you. Write that down, experience it. And then tomorrow, we'll, I'll talk about goal setting tomorrow and the difference between goals. And just to honor the title of today's episode, the, the difference between that vision and goal, the goals are the steps you're going to take to get there. Right? Don't worry about those yet. Today, I want you to live even if it's just for a few minutes, find a way to make 15 to 20 minutes at least, longer the better, where you can sit down and dwell 
in this perfect state, in the success state that you want to create, the lifestyle that you want to pursue, describe that for yourself. If any of you are so motivated or, or feel compelled to share, put that in the comments. I'll share mine, the one I already shared, maybe one or two others, just so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but I'd love to see what you guys think is a perfect state. Lots of great uh, comments and highs there this morning. Good morning to Debbie, to Vicki. Uh, yeah, it starts how you define success. That's right. Brooke, good morning. And, and, and Vicki makes a great point. We all get to define success in our own way. You know, I, what makes me happy might not make somebody else happy. And if, you know, don't, the number one regret, there's a great, um, essay written by a woman named Bronnie Ware. She was a palliative care nurse. So she took care of people in the final days of their lives. And over the course of several years in doing that, she put together the five most common regrets of dying people. The number one regret that people expressed to her. Number one. And she, and, and she says, she's been interviewed about this a lot, it wasn't even close. Number two was that they, it wasn't, wasn't even close. The number one regret is I wish I'd have the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life other people expected from me. That's pretty powerful stuff, right? You have the opportunity today, as you're doing this exercise, you have the opportunity to write the description of what that success state means to you. I strongly encourage you to do that, right? Write what that it, it means to you. Spend some time in it. Dwell in it today. And tomorrow we'll talk about how to create goals to make that a reality for you. All right. Thanks for being here with me this morning. Remember, if you know somebody who is having trouble reaching their goals, getting stuff done, or could just otherwise benefit from joining us every morning, please... Share this video with them or share it to your whole network or drop their name in a comment. All of those things will get this video out in front of them and um, help them get things done, get stuff done also. I'll be back again tomorrow. Free Coaching Friday. If you have a question, go ahead and drop me a message. I'm probably going to spend the whole show talking about uh, goal setting tomorrow, but feel free to do that. Oh, and by the way, I mentioned yesterday, if you are interested in me doing a weekend whiteboard, which is a longer form version of this in front of the whiteboard, answering your questions about this whole system that I use to get stuff done, you have to leave me a comment and I have to get at least five people to say they're interested in it. And then I'll do one this weekend. So if you're interested in that, leave me a comment um, below and I will do that. And if you, so, so far I've only had one person ask, so we, had, we don't have five yet. So don't, you know, if you even think you might be interested in it, don't let your vote be the one that keeps it from happening. All right, that's it. I'll be back again tomorrow uh, to wrap things up for the week. You guys have a great Thursday, and I'll talk to you then.